So I'm Adam Leonti, and today we're making black pepper uh, sausage, black pepper salumi. So now on the product inventory, um, to make black pepper salumi, you're going to need pork. Um, we use pork shoulder. Uh, the shoulder has a large percentage of fat already on it. We have got a, a, a pretty good system down of how much fat we'll need to add, which brings to the next ingredient, fat back. We use 8% fat back, 8% of the shoulder's weight, and that's uh, our second ingredient. Also, salt, black diamond kosher salt. Uh, after salt is dextrose. Um, the dextrose is used to help promote positive bacteria growth. It's used in a very small amount, only a, a pinch. And then also curing salt, which is a nitrate that helps preserve the meat over time. We use a time-release nitrate, TCM number two. Okay, also, we'll be using uh, red wine. Next is garlic. Uh, garlic is only for flavor. Same with the spice that we're going to use today, which is black pepper. That can, the garlic doesn't actually go into the sausage. It only is put into the wine. Uh, we strain the garlic out afterwards. Casings, beef middle casings for for this this salami. Um, the beef middle is going to be cut about two feet long. It'll hold two pounds of sausage, and that's very important. So that way we don't waste the casing. We can have an amount of casings cut for the amount of sausage we're doing. We're doing around 40 pounds a day. We'll need around 20 casings. So now we're going to go over all the equipment that's needed to make salumi. Um, it's a long list and uh, very important to have each piece. Um, none of them are extra. All are um, completely necessary. We'll need uh, to start with a meat grinder, um, industrial anvil, also sausage stuffer. You have the grinder, you need the stuffer. The stuffer is tre spade. It is a 35 pound canister, grinder attachments, sharp blade, the largest die for the grinder, so sheet trays to hold the salumi, parchment paper to line underneath the salumi, the small poker, small knife, soap, scrubby. So we're also going to use the Hobart mixer. It's a 35 pound mixer. The paddle attachment for that. Ice, lots of ice to cool the equipment, cool anything. Ice in our uh, stainless steel ice bin is going to be integral. A digital scale to accurately weigh all the dry ingredients. A thermometer for all temperature control checks. For, for labeling purpose, you're going to need a black marker, tape. For cleaning up, you'll also need lots of towels to make sure that everything is sanitary. So, we begin with cutting the pork. Uh, the pork shoulder has a lot of uh, connective tissue and it needs to be removed. The connective tissue will not add anything to the salumi. It'll only take away. It's, um, it'll create a small air pocket inside and that'll promote negative bacterial growth. So, we trim the pork of all sinew and cube it into about an inch and a half pieces. Then we we'll do the same thing with pork uh, fat back. The fat back, an inch and a half as well, uh, cubed, will have to be stored in the freezer. The pork itself will need to be around 32 degrees, and the these the fat though will have to be will have to remain completely frozen. After everything's cubed, we need to take a weight. So everything goes in a sheet tray, and we use a, a heavy duty scale weigh it in pounds first and then convert it to grams. After the pork has been weighed, we can begin with the recipe. So pork has been cleaned, cubed, weighed. We can use our recipe to find out what we'll need for dry ingredients. It's all based off weight. The pork was first weighed in pounds, converted to grams, and then from that we can figure out what we need to use for salt, dextrose, and spice. So when the, the pork is in the freezer, um, we're looking to see that it reaches around 32 degrees. 
and then we can begin to grind. Um, but before we grind, we take the, the cold pork and cold fat back and put it into a big bin, put the weighed out dry recipe into a big mixing uh, container and mix everything evenly by hand, um, wearing rubber gloves. Uh, mix, mix, mix. Make sure that all the corners of the box that you're mixing in have uh, been clear of any of salt or spice and that everything is really stuck to the meat. Then we begin to grind. While grinding, it's important to see what's coming out of the, the grinder holes and attachment to make sure that the cuts are clean and that uh, nothing is smearing. Uh, it's ground twice. Uh, the first time, uh, ground once through the large die. Um, then we take a look, make sure that the, the salami, the, the pork is still cold. Um, take a temperature control, then run it through the grinder one more time. By running it through the grinder again, it starts to make uh, one big uh, mass, one you know, collective mass uh, that will be easier to mix. So after grinding twice, we will begin to mix. In the Hobart mixer, um, it can hold 35 pounds of something, but we only work in half. So fill the mixer halfway and begin to mix. Before we add the wine, uh, two things. One, remove the garlic. The garlic's removed. I use a liquid measure container so you can measure how much is going in to the mixer. We're going to use exactly half. Um, You want to see that the fat and the pork have come together. You need to work in two batches to make sure that you can keep everything cold. The second batch will be in the freezer while you're working the first. The first batch that has been mixed will be taste tested, um, fried in a frying pan, and then we will begin to stuff. One team, two people, will begin to stuff, and the other two people of four will be mixing the second half. As you're stuffing, you're making sure that your hands are sanitary, the area is sanitary, and you'll have one person stuffing, one person tying the sausage, and one person that will actually physically be using the, the stuffer. The person holding the salumi will make um, a sort of O-ring with their right hand on the, on the stuffer attachment and we'll be guiding the sausage with their left, um, holding everything tight to make sure the sausage is stuffed uh, properly. The person in the middle of the three working on the stuffer will tie. Um, he'll tie with uh, pre-cut pieces of string and this will continue until everything is stuffed. It should take about two turns. Um, same as with the mixing, we do it in half to keep everything cold. When ha one half is being stuffed, the other half is being frozen. After the salumi is all stuffed, they are labeled and dated and are ready to go into the oven to begin the fermentation process. They'll go into the oven at 89 degrees, 100% humidity, for 36 hours. In that time, the salumi will go from a beige color to a bright pink color and the bacteria will have started their growth. From that, we can bring the salumi downstairs to hang in our meat locker and clean all you know, utensils. And that is how you make black pepper salumi at Veggie Restaurant.